Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Painting Hyun. Today, I'll be painting magic mushroom in watercolor. And I will take you through the steps to paint this. And I will tell you, we uh, practiced this mushroom with a pencil in the last video. If there's anyone who has not watched yet, go to watch and follow my demo. I will link the video in the description, description box below, okay? And uh, I already sketched it in advance. I have the basic structure and composition of drawing, okay? And I will be using this paint, Scarlet, Bon Sienna, Peter Lubin by Holbein, and Vermilion Green Tea by Shimike and white for scales and brushes two of uh, Raphael brushes and generate brush let's get started I'm starting by washing the mushroom area of, of the paper and next uh, take a sort of a watery reddish orange Okay, this color, put on the uh, top of the cap area. If you can, leave some negative space on the cap. This is the first step. Second step is take the mixture of colors, Scarlet Lake and Peter Lubin, uh, put on the largest cap uh, spot area, and a little bit of tilt the paper for water goes to top side. Okay? And slightly blend the color. Now I'm using tip of the brush. Take some uh, very thick consistency of color, the mixture of um, Peter Ruby and uh, Bonsena, and dotting on the cap for making scales and giving some depths. Now I'm using a very thick consistency now. At this point, I'm using my brush without too much water and using the tip of the brush, when we dotting, we should push quiet, rightly and softly, okay? Next, uh, it takes time to move on to the next mushroom. We are going to use the same colors and same process of painting as we painted the first one. So, uh, apply water and uh, take some watery color, put on the cap area. Next, take a sort of dark red, add on the cap area. Finally, take a very uh, thick consistency of reddish brown and put on the cap to make some dots. And on the third mushroom, we are going to use the same process of the painting. First, put a little bit of watery color and next, uh, middle of the color put on there and now third. Third step is to uh, take some very uh, thick of the consistency of brownish reddish color and put on there.
make sure some crooked uh, round with the thick consistency of color. Make sure some uh, scales with thin brush. Next, draw some uh, stems with the, mix the mixture of vermilion green tea and burnt sienna. So take some very watery, uh, grayish uh, brown color. Draw some grease underneath the uh, cap area. Take some dark brownish color, put on the uh, grill area. We need to give them some uh, depth. So light is the right top side, so left to lower side is the darkest area. So we make sure the area a little bit uh, dark. Uh, consistency of color put on there. Now I'm using very tiny brush for the uh, tiny line, thin lines. Also, we need to throw some bubbles and uh, something on the stem. I'm not too familiar with this subject, but then mushroom, especially red mushroom, it has such a dreamy fairy tale feel to it, right? So I'm really enjoying now. I'm using the mixture of the uh, pyralubin mix the Vermilion green deep color. Give them some depth. Move to the ground. First, take a watery green and cover foreground now. We are using the whole brush, push palm and drag toward the right in a shot. And draw some glasses and bushes. Then I want to use a spreader on the foreground. So using a reddish color. Actually, I want to get a natural look. Lastly, for the scale, I'm going to use white watercolor paint. If you have a white acrylic paint, it will be okay. It is uh, really up to you, okay? You can use it.
lastly, uh, in detail area, grow some grass and bushes on the foreground area using tiny brush. And we are finally done with this painting. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and learned something new. Thank you for watching till the end. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I will see you at the next one. Bye!